the discovery of radiation uh, and, and atomic decay was because a guy put some uranium on a photography plate and his the, and the rain spoiled his planned experiment. So he just like left it over the weekend. And when he came back on Monday, he developed it and discovered radiation accidentally, right? Because it was rainy in Paris. And the frustrating thing about that is that it could have happened a hundred years earlier. All the technology was there, just nobody had that lucky accident. So we could be a hundred years deeper into our understanding of quantum mechanics. Imagine if quantum mechanics had been developed a hundred years earlier, so that like when Einstein is a kid, he is now immersed in quantum mechanics. When he's developing his theory of relativity, he already has a quantum brain. Does he still come up with a classical theory of relativity, which is you know, strongly in confrontation with quantum mechanics, or does he just come up with quantum gravity in one fell swoop, you know? So it suggests that there's lots of paths through science, that it's there's lots of happy accidents that determine the way that science happens. You know, unfortunately on Earth, we no longer have parallel cultures developing science the way we did, you know, a few thousand years ago before with globe spanning civilizations. But at one point, the Mayans, the Chinese, the Greeks were all sort of independently investigating how the universe works. And it would be so fascinating if today we could see where those cultures ended up if they hadn't been intermingled.